So I recently kicked Jay off my set after doing a Power Rangers feud because he's awful and his opinions suck. However, he came back at me with some fresh ideas and since I'm out of time to write scripts and he offered, I said bring it on. Hey guys, I'm happy to be back feuding two of the good Daniel Craig James Bond movies Casino Royale and Skyfall here on Movie Feuds. <laughs> okay, and you stole my intro line, you piece of shit. Daniel Craig is debatably the best 007 we've had so far. Who the fuck is debating that? He's not even in the top three. Ignoring the child in the corner, I'll continue. I enjoyed Craig in Casino Royale, but in Skyfall we really got to see him blossom into this character, meshing the classic humorous tone of the previous Bonds with his current darker Bond. As for the villains, I really enjoyed Mads Mikkelsen as the Le Chef? Le Chef? The Chef? Le Chief? Anyways, he was a great villain. However, Javier Bardem as Silva is essentially the Joker to James Bond's Batman. He's not as interesting or nearly as iconic as the Joker, but he was eccentric yet calculated. That's not only laughable, it's insulting. <laughs> That's me laughing at the comparison. What, what the hell was that? What kind of laugh was that? The guy's barely present, showing up like an hour into the film. Why he was kept on the sidelines for so long is beyond me, and actually hinders the motivations and intensity the audience was hoping for. I think it would have been more amazing had they brought on an old James Bond as a rogue agent, Pierce Brosnan would have nailed it. Anyway, I can't argue with the fact that the cast assembled for these two flicks is serviceable. Daniel Craig makes for an intense and likable Bond. We get reintroduced to Money, Penny, and Q in Skyfall, and the actors did a damn fine job with the very little they had to work with. Let's move on to story. Casino Royale is technically a reboot to the franchise, and it's a fine one at that. It was an exceptional origin story with some impeccable action sequences, such as the parkour chase in Africa, or the finale with the building collapse. But it wasn't just the action that was interesting to watch. The modern take on the classic poker game was surprisingly well put together. I could have watched two hours of that alone. As for Skyfall, the action delivers for sure, as Sam Mendes adds a certain flair to each section, minus the strange Home Alone ending, Unlike Casino Royale though, Skyfall doesn't justify its runtime. Skyfall felt like a mesh between one of the classic Bond stories and the Bourne-esque style of the newer films. We got to see some of the traditional Bond elements such as the cars, the over-the-top villain, the humor, and even a few simple gadgets such as the fingerprint detecting Walter PPK. But they also did something I never thought any Bond movie would do, dive into Bond's origin. This was a real treat for longtime fans and kept the movie character driven and even emotional. I have to bring up the visuals as it's arguably the best part of the movie. The cinematography by Roger Deakins, who also did Shawshank Redemption, is incredible. Each scene could basically just be a wallpaper on your computer. I wish the story could have as much praise. However, Skyfall's story is kind of lifeless. Didn't we just see Batman old and injured a few months before this came out? Sam Mendes said he was influenced by the Dark Knight, and it shows. The Kingsman is far more Bond now than the Bond property is. It also doesn't help that the whole company being disbanded idea was done a dozen or so times in other films when this hit. It didn't feel fresh, unlike my first solo album, The Atom Project, which unfortunately is sold out now. The James Bond theme is one of the most iconic theme songs of all time, and both composers do it justice. Chris Cornell's Casino Royale song, You Know My Name, is easily my favorite Bond song. May he rest in peace. While I enjoyed Skyfall by Adele, I'm a rock guy. I'm sure Adele's song was great, had it not put me to sleep instantaneously. I do love Casino's version though. David Arnold and Thomas Newman are two very talented composers, and their scores are nothing short of fantastic. As for the effects, there's a noticeable amount of CG used in Skyfall, and it's not very convincing. Hence it being noticeable. Yes, right. Luckily, there was a great amount of stunts that made up for it. Casino Royale's action and set pieces are far superior. The foot chase alone makes this an automatic win and takes me back to my youth as a semi-professional parkourist. Doing a classic full tilt reverse into a chaser curl only to end up into a butterfly kiss off a three-story half pipe into a chaser. That was a Tuesday for me. None of that is anything. Can we pivot on to Daniel Craig's nuts for a second? How brutal is that sequence? It looks like something straight out of Saw, or a weekend excursion at Jay's mom's house. Okay, I'm calling this. Skyfall isn't a bad movie by any means, it's just missing a certain something that uh, makes me feel all happy downstairs. 
It didn't feel like a Bond movie, and that's the biggest takeaway here. Regardless, it was much better than the shit shows that were Quantum of Solace and Spectre, which Jay and I will be feuding next time. Tune in, kids. I really do love both of these movies, and while I think Casino Royale is a better movie, I think Skyfall is the better Bond movie. As always, comment below about how I'm an asshole for not liking a movie you do, vote for your winner, and remember, this is more than just reviews. This is Movie Feuds. Oh, you are just the fucking worst, Jay. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to check me out on social media platforms for credibility purposes. Intern Sheila should be putting up some graphics for you to digest, I believe. Otherwise, you'll be out on the curb like your mom. Gotta move on. You can also check me out on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Throw me a buck or two if you want. I run this channel alone. It's, a, it's almost a full-time job, honestly. Thanks for your time. Sheila, the graphics, now.